All right, man. So in today's video, man, we're gonna do we're gonna do something a little different, man. We're gonna react to. I think it is um, they when well, they be lining them women up and they bring the dudes in. So we're gonna react to a little different video today, man. But before we get into this video, make sure to like the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, make sure to hit that bell, turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we drop, and you know you'll be notified every time we drop, man. I can't say, we can't say our favorite sayings on this, but we most definitely going to keep it real, but we can't say our favorite saying because it ain't gold dude video. But anyway, man, um, let's see, let's see what this video talking about, man. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome. <laughs> I'll have you hold this. All right, if we can have your name. Uh, my name is Aaron. Aaron, how old yes, are you? Yeah, I'm 29. 29, okay, yes. and what do you do? Uh, I'm a licensed plumber. Oh, okay. very cool. Yes. And now, what do you look for in a woman? Um, I look like, I look for a woman that's not promiscuous and um, has a career going for herself. Okay. Yes, ma'am. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breaker, being promiscuous, <laughs> not cleanly, um, don't have a career, nothing really going for yourself. Okay. All right, so I guess if they not feeling the dude, they pop the balloon, blase, whatever, whatever. But homeboy look kind of funny. <laughs> homeboy look kind of funny, man. Um, the shorty that did pop the balloon, her gear look kind of kind of weird a little bit. But uh, I don't know, man. Let's, let's, I'm interested to see what I'm interested to see this stuff, man. All right, so we did get a pop balloon. Let's okay. go ahead and go on over there and see what's going on. Yes. All right, if we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. I'm 24. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to say the pop in the balloon proper. <laughs> Got you. Um, for me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we are going to be going through a dating show. You know? I don't like her personality. But another thing is, you, you, you feel like you didn't have chemistry or anything. You didn't even get to talk to dude. <laughs> I mean, he would... You, you got to be able to talk to them to see if you got some type of chemistry. Uh, you're not always about to get that instant chemistry to where he's standing there, you're standing there, and it's a y'all buzzing, you know, the them, them universal waves. You're not always about to get that instantly, brother or sister. Sometimes you have to wait to communicate and stuff like that. But um, I don't know. Let's see, man. Let's let's see what he's talking about or what she's talking about or however this stuff goes. Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. So uh, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you have a great Thank day. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's go ahead. And... All right. We got to pop over here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name is Jara. I'm 22. Okay. And why did we end up popping our balloon? Um, the comment you made uh, didn't really. I like a more humble person. That's the one that responds so defensive-ish. Yeah, that's really it. I, yeah. I didn't really necessarily like that's how you responded. That's fine. Hey, I could just, yeah. all I can do is be honest, I you mean, know? I yeah, be honest. I be came authentic over here to, that's okay. to, to, to find a match sure. that wasn't matching. Sure. That's I all, mean, queen. I 100% understand. Yes, yeah. ma'am. Sure. Okay. And I was, um, she someone that's your type? Um, she all right, you know? Mm -hmm. You're not really my type. I don't mean to be disrespectful. No disrespect. You know, but if I seen you in public, I wouldn't reach out totally to Totally fine. Yes, ma'am. Thank yeah. you. Oh, this is funny. Um, so... The first shorty that, you know, she's talking about whatever, whatever. He said, you did me a favor because, you know, I guess she wasn't the type. And then the shorty beside I popped the balloon because she didn't like the comment. She said, that, first off, people need to wake up, right? Um, he just being blunt with you. When women want, when, when women be trying to get with dudes and stuff like that, there's, okay, there's different type of things they look for. But one of the main things they look for is honesty. Is he going to be a liar or is he going to be honest? You can't fault a man for being honest, how he honest. It is what it is. I wouldn't, I'm not going to waste my time talking to you. Um, you. Like he told Shorty, you could, but I wouldn't approach you because you basically not my type. You're not like that. There's no other way of putting it. People be trying to sugarcoat. That's the problem with the world, man. Everybody be trying to sugarcoat everything and and think people have to, see, and this is social media's fault too. People be thinking that people have to care about your feelings. No, I do not have to care about your feelings. I don't have to care about how you receive what I'm telling you. 
I don't have to. Social media is giving everybody a voice so everybody feels like their opinion matters and every and their feelings matter. And so first off, I'm not gonna let somebody else's like she, the first shorty popped the balloon, and then the response that he that he gave to the first shorty, I'm not gonna let that affect me. And you see what I'm saying? Like, and I don't blame. Uh, I wouldn't be mad about either one of those either. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be walking down those street. Or I wouldn't be pursuing those. I saw them two type bras in the restaurant. Absolutely not. Now everybody will. Now I see some more balloon pops, but um. Another thing is he got he got a lot of masculine energy and women don't women don't really like they they say they like the masculine energy but a lot of women don't like that they want you to be kind of feminine a little bit to where they can kind of get over it seemed like homeboy got like a a no nonsense type policy like I'm the man you the woman ain't no nonsense going on a lot of women don't like that man they like to be able to pull pull you know they like to be able to create some conflict create some confusion without being feeling scared and. I don't think homeboy on that. <laughs> he, don't, he don't look like he for all that. Right. And we did get a pop balloon over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Lex and I'm 23. And I popped my balloon because I feel like you could be a tad bit disrespectful. Like how you like, I don't know, arrogant a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Just that. Well, voice in my opinion is not arrogant, you know. She asked me if she would be a good fit for me. If I like what I see, you know, uh, it's contrary to the truth. So of course. that's all I can do is just state what I see. I don't, that's not a good look for me. That's all, Queen. But uh, thank you. You did me a favor as well. Yeah. Also, um, what I have to say is it's not what you say. This is what I mean by what I said. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. Yes. You could have rephrased a lot of the things that you have been saying to me as well as the other girls differently. But that's all I have to say. But one thing about me is I'm not going to change who I am of course. to fit somebody else's liking. You know, I'm just going to tell it how it is. If you're not it, that's not it. You know, cool. the one that is it, I'm going to let it be known. Okay. You know, for surely, yes. Respectful. <laughs> I like this. See, here's the thing. She wouldn't have been the perfect match anyway. Already trying to dictate how a person should act. Like, I don't know you. You don't know me. So I'm not going to. And we, we've always talked We've always talked about this on these gold digger videos also. I'm not going to do things for you to like me. I'm going to be me. If you like me being me, cool. But if you like me being somebody else just so you can like me, that's not cool because once you figure out that that's not me, it's not going to work anyway. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you could kind of have worded a little bit different. I feel like it was dis disrespectful, a little bit of arrogant. Like, you feel like me telling, you feel like me telling a person that they did me a favor, they're not my type. That's disrespectful. No, it's not. That's called not wasting your time. But once again, you know how, you know how women women are. You know what I'm saying? Not all women, but you know how those those one types of women are. They feel like a man has to do this, do this. They already have expectations and rules and requirements and this and that and this and that. And that's why they on a damn show like this, trying to find somebody to pair them up with because they can't do it in their real life. Why? Because they are obviously the problem. And homeboy could be the problem also. But for the most part, it is what it is, man. Uh, sure, he's talking about you could have worded it a little different, this, this, that. I'm going to pop my balloon to tell this guy I don't like how you talk to this person. Da, da, da. See, that's another thing is defending people that you don't know. You know she over defending these two brides. Look, that ain't got nothing to do with him and her. They could have a whole different type of link up, a whole different type of, you know, whole different type of wave connection, but... It is what it is, but let's let's see let's see where else this is kind of fun, man. Let's see where else this thing goes, man. Okay. All right. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? Brianna, twenty six. My eyes are, are up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, women I deal with, they don't have hair on their don't arms. Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest, Don't do queen. too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts. You just parts, wasn't looking at my not eyes. What it is. That's no, I was all looking I was at the hair out. on your Anyways, arms, Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Um. <laughs> this is hilarious. Hey, y'all, she also got something. That she, she has something. 
She has on things that we refer to as flapjacks. She got them flappy wappy jackies, man. <laughs> but he told Shorty, look, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. Yeah, it is what it is. Um, uh, here's the, this is all I like about people. People can get smart, but when you get smart back to them, they don't like it. Like, why jump in a boxing ring if you can't box? I'm going to jump in the boxing ring, put the gloves on, I'm going to talk shit. Da, da, da. Yeah, man, man I'm going to do, do all that. I'm going to knock him out. Two, second round, three punches. I'm going to knock him out. Then you hit him. You, It's all good. You punching him. He ain't punched you yet. You punching him. You knock him down. You standing over him, tying him. You doing all this. He ain't even hit you yet. Then all of a sudden, he clock you one time, and you want to get mad. You want you want a man, go. you want to run over to your corner, man. Take these gloves off, man. I'm going to kill this nigga. Let me go to the car real quick. You, you know what I'm saying? Don't jump in the ring, man, if you can't take it back. Shorty really can't take it back. Like, you trying to clown on, boy, and you really got clown. What are you looking at? Are you looking at, duh, duh, duh. first off, Shorty, I'm going to be 100. Anybody dumb enough to wipe you up with them long-ass flapjacks, you got stupid as hell. So, with that being said, homeboy just clowned your ass. Um, no, I'm looking at the hair on your arm. Like, you got a lot of, you hairy. You know what I'm saying? I don't deal with no hairy-ass women, man. You got more hair than I do. Hurt her feelings real quick, right? Yeah, because that's something that's something that most people ain't paying attention to, but that's something he paying attention to. I'm paying attention to that. Yeah. To her little feelings, man. It is what it is. Now she trying to get all sorted and get all mad. And people need to stop trying to act like the truth is it the truth can't be told. You see what I'm saying? This is a this is a, a perfect example of somebody telling the truth, they they honest truth feelings about people, about a person. And a person not liking it. Like, they have to be nice. I'm not finna be nice in rejection. No, I'm gonna tell you straight up the reason why. It is what it is. Dude got a lot of masculine energy. Like I said at the beginning, dude seems like he got a lot of masculine energy. Like, he the alpha and the woman gonna be the beta. Ain't gonna be no, I ain't finna be the alpha male. She gonna be the alpha female. Ain't gonna be none of that. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And a lot of women can't take that shit. They can't take it. Um... Yeah, I'm in hills and you ain't tall enough. Okay. Don't do too much. Well, though. you're not qualified, baby. All right, that's so that's good. all good. Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay. So <laughs> we do still have three unpop, but she looking like you gonna pop? Okay. Okay. All right. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Jacqueline. I'm 25. I popped because I have hair on my arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Just because you got hair on your arms, that's okay, though, Queen. You look phenomenal, though. <laughs> Thank you. You know, she ain't Don't fit to my liking. She ain't even fit to my... Hey, excuse me, Queen. I'm, I'm talking to this woman right here. Oh, uh, Well, I could look anyway. I could look anyway. I could look any way I want to. You know? Here's another thing I seen. Now, you see how he gave Shorty props. She's like, man, I popped my blue car. I got hair on my arm. And he's looking like, well, shoot, well, you straight. She ain't straight. She's not to my liking. And you see how she, he's like, he's like, well, excuse me, I'm talking to her. He even said, excuse me, I'm talking to her. She's like, that's still mouthing up. But he's like, well, I can, he basically, I can say basically look where I want to look or say what I want to say. And you see how the host, and this is, I, this is what I don't like also, man. You see how the host like, all right, all right, all right. And they kind of looked at him. Like, bro, you really going to go back? No, 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 no. See, as the correct toast, what I would have did, whether that was a man or a woman over a chatter and it was already out, I would have told him, hey, you can leave. Okay, um, you popped your balloon. He already said we had to say. Um, he just making a comment. He's basically letting this woman know um, she is his type. You're just not his type. She has hair on his arms, but she's still his type. You have hair on your arms and you're not his type. So you can get off the set. See, but once again, what they do, they're like trying to shame the dude like it's his fault as to why the conversation pursued. First off, the girl popped a balloon because she said, hey, I got hair on my arms. He was like, oh, I'm, you know, I ain't worried about that with you because you you like what I like. You know what I'm saying? You're That's not what I like with that. The hair with the hair, basically. You know what I'm saying? And people can say, well, she's dissing such and such. Okay, words is words, man. People need to quit being so sensitive and, and all that stuff. But now that now what that's doing, the whole audience made it seem like he's an argumentative ass dude. When he was when when she was already out. That's what that's what the whole audience made it seem like. He's an argumentative ass motherfucker. Now he wanna argue back and forth. That he wanna argue back and forth. No, she created the situation. And now whenever he's trying to 
either say, excuse me, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking to her, eliminate her. She still want to go. Then he's like, well, hey, I can talk to or look whoever, which way I, I ever want to look. You don't control the way I look. You don't control where my eyes look at. You don't control, the, you don't control what I say out of my mouth. You know, and that's another problem with people, man. Like, man, whoever, I don't know who sent me this video. I may start doing these videos. Anyway, let's continue watching. But yeah, can y'all give her her balloon back, though? She don't want it. Yeah, do you want your balloon back, Queen? Uh, we're not talking to you, sweetheart. Okay. You, you already been, I already let you know. I'm not interested in, you got more hair on your arms than me, baby. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not sitting up there picking on a woman and taking sides with the dude. If it was, if it was 10 dudes lined up in one woman and the dude kept getting, I would say the same thing, man. Tell the nigga he got to go. He already eliminated. But you see what I'm saying? She keeps butting in. Hey, you want your balloon back? No, she don't want her balloon back. I'm not even talking to you. Why are you still talking to me? I already eliminated you. I already let you know how I felt about you. Like I said, your feelings is hurt because I just basically said what it was. Like, you got too much hair. If you didn't have hair on your arms, I probably, you know, I probably would have looked at you and told you you got flapjacks. That's what I would have did if I was there. But <laughs> it's just funny, man. It's just hilarious. But Make it and and the host and the host is like, oh, come on guys like no host do your job, ma'am you can exit the stage you can leave until the next person comes up because I'm not going to have you up here interrupting this guy whenever you're not you're already out you're not even in the running you're just mad that he hurt your feelings so what be be grown about it everybody's not going to cater to how your feelings and cater to. They're not finna be, they're not for everybody's not about to sit up there and oh, okay, she's extra sensitive, so I can say this to her. No, you get it wrong. You wanna you wanna be wrong, you get it wrong. But uh anyway. Okay, so he's saying get your balloon back, but how are you feeling him? Um, I'm not gonna get my balloon back. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right, no problem. So we do still have uh two balloons. Yes. Do See, and that's how you know he's not really on no toxic argumentative stuff. Because he was like, you want your balloon back? She was like, oh, no, I want my balloon back. He said, oh, okay. Then he moved on. He didn't diss her like, oh, well, it was this anyway. It was, no. Nah. It was that. No, nah, he's really rocking with Shorty. He really, okay, well, it's cool. All right, you know what I'm saying? The other ones he wasn't rocking with. Let, let all of them have it. I ain't rocking with none of y'all. It was really these two or three right here that got the balloons that I'm messing with. You know what I'm saying? This one, at least the one right here, at least it was that one, you know? So... Oh, well, man, let's, let's continue watching this stuff, man. It's funny. We still have two balloons? No. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. I saw you hesitate. That's why I had to ask. So if we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, Originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. Mm -hmm. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know? Mm -hmm. So I didn't find that offensive to me, but... When they started, that what was going on, I'm very like, I'm, I don't want to say I'm argumentative, but I don't want my man to argue back with me. I can tell why she's single, man. She said, I'm not going to say I'm argumentative, but I don't want my man to argue back with me. So basically, this is what she's saying. Basically, what she's saying is whenever it comes down to a conflict, he better not say nothing. I'm going to say everything, and after I get finished saying everything that needs to be said, nothing else better be said, and we better roll with it. Like, that explains why you on this show. That explains why you single. Only a man that ain't got no backbone or only a man that got another woman on the side is going to put up with something like that. That's it. Ain't no, ain't no man who really is there for you, who's genuinely caring about you, they're not friends just allow you to say what you got to say and then roll with it and not say nothing. No, they're going to tell you the, ball, the best possible scenario. Here's one thing that a lot of these women right here, right now, is missing by homeboy. And they saying he's too arrogant. Basically, I say, I say the nigga raw, which is raw is cool. You know what I'm saying? That's what you need in your corner. You need a nigga who raw. Or the you know, white boy, Asian Dominican, Mexican, Hispanic, whatever it is that you into, you need somebody who kind of raw a little bit. Because you don't want nobody who's just, you know, butterflies here, butterflies there, fantasy land, white picket. You don't need that. That's that's a, that's a fantasy fake world, right? 
You want somebody who's going to tell you about you. You want somebody, hey, you know, hey, baby, you're getting kind of chubby a little bit. You may want to go to the gym, slim down. Hey, you know, uh, your teeth looking a little bit yellow, baby. You know what I'm saying? You may want to book that dentist appointment in. You know, you want somebody who's who going to be honest because them honest people like that, yes, you may feel like it may hurt your feelings, but they really looking out for you because they want you to be the best version of you. See, a lot of these women don't understand. They view it as you're being mean, you're being rude, you could have said it a different way. Instead of looking at it, well, damn, this is a motherfucker who's going to make sure I'm on my shit. See, everybody wants somebody who wants their shit, but when they run into somebody that want, that tries to, when they run into somebody that wants to, that wants to correct them and make sure they on their shit, make sure they, they reach their potential is a problem, you know? That's the way I see it anyway because then I feel like it's gonna always be a problem. That was the only reason why I popped my balloon because I was just like, dang. Um, but then with me, you kinda got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy just a little bit. And since you wanna come at everybody over here, I'm gonna get at you too. You kinda look like a Ninja Turtle. You're not that cute. You, you need to relax. Uh, you stocky uh, as hell. And I was trying to be respectful, okay. but yeah. like you was, you was really coming out, like I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm from the South and I can okay. handle like a lot of criticism and stuff like yeah. that, but the way you was coming, you just ain't like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you, you probably got a roommate at home and it's just not giving. People gotta stop doing that, man. I'm gonna pop my balloon just because, you know, uh, plus you, you been up here because you get you kind of catty, whatever. Plus two, you you been up here getting at all these girls. I'm gonna get at you. You look like a digital turtle. You probably ain't got it like that. Where you where you, uh, you you probably got a roommate. You living with a roommate. Blah blah blah. And you see old shorty that got her feelings hurt in that red dress with that with that hair. Yeah, clapping. Yeah, only you you the only one in her clapping. She the only one in her clapping. Right because somebody. Somebody crushed you when you, because she, she thought she was all that, her little red thing with no flappies hanging. Yeah, you thought she was all that. No, you're not all that. Reality check. You know what I'm saying? You're probably about a five. It is what it is. Um, but don't waste no, don't try to mess your opportunity up with something because of something you done seen them do with something else. See what I'm saying? Just because they did that with them don't mean they're going to do that with you. Like I said, different vibes, different energies. Different personalities, you know, it is what it is. So, but anyways, let's see his response to all this. Anymore? Yeah. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber. So, I live, and I, I do real estate and property management. I live, down, management. I live downtown. So what I live downtown. I stay by myself, Queen, you know, and you're not even qualified to be even you dealing with me. You say everybody not qualified. To, you definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and ain't the one my that type. you wanted, Pop If I seen, I, that's fine. So that, what? That's that totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull 100000 on the bank. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, you can't, can't do that. Right you can't do that, Let's though, baby. Yeah, in Let's the real way. You can't do that, though, Queen. All right. If we got her out of there like that. That's okay. But once again, y'all, y'all, once again, they trying to make homeboy to be out the toxic one. They keep starting stuff with him because they mad at him because he, he be on it, man. Like, they, it's like she felt like all the girls were getting picked on. They weren't getting picked on. He just kept it real. And we know people don't like people keeping it real nowadays. You got to sugarcoat it, right? But, um, yeah, and another another thing is the way Shorty was, the last one talking about, yeah, you ain't, uh, you know, you ain't, yeah, you probably got a roommate and he, he hit her with the, well, you know, I live downtown. I, I, the thing about me is I can go pull 100000 out of the bank. Can you do the same? Now, we ain't pocket checking. We ain't doing that. But that, honey, when he said that statement, that kind of really made her mad. Like, mm, here's the thing. How you can always tell somebody got it and they don't got it is whenever you, is whenever you, you throw a big flex and they get angry. Because think about it. If you had a million, and I was like, well, I can go pull 200000 out of motherfucking account. You're going to be like, nigga, 200000 ain't nobody, nigga, pull out more. That's what you're going to do. You want to press me, pull out more than two hundred. That's what you're going to do, right? Because you know you got a million in the stash. She ain't got a hundred Gs. They killed her own out. Like I said, money would kill a motherfucker out, too, if you know you ain't, if, if you know you got a little bread and they ain't got it. That'll hurt some feelings when you talk about that shit and they know they ain't got it. But let's continue watching this stuff. Age. Hi, I'm Esther. I'm 23. Okay. And Esther, uh, you still have your balloon unpopped. Why so? Are you done? Oh, yeah. I'm done with the rest of that. Okay. You know. 
Okay, now we can talk, right? In a real way. Okay. What do you look for? I look what for are you looking for? A, a woman, like I said, that's not going to be promiscuous, a woman that's going to be consistent, a woman that has a career and things going for herself, because I had the same thing going for myself, okay. you know, as well. I don't need a woman to uh, give me her money um, or anything. I'm just looking for devotion and some loyalty, that's all, and some honesty. All right, so basically he looking for, <laughs> and this makes sense a little bit. Basically, he looking for a woman that he he wants her to be around more so than he needs her to be around, which is good because he don't need no money from you. He don't need like he only thing he needs from the woman is of course the body, whatever. But devotion, honesty, loyalty, somebody who ain't out here messing around with a bunch of different dudes, somebody who ain't who ain't promiscuous at all, somebody who don't go out here and try to be flirtatious with anybody. He said, I don't need your money. I don't need none of that. Got all of that, you know? And that kind of made me think, and he said he wanted the girl to have a career, right? Because uh, he got a career. Um, that kind of makes me think as to a lot why a lot of them women pop they balloon. They probably didn't have no career. Cause once he figure out what you do, what you do, oh, I'm a such such such. He, he probably gonna be like, it ain't gonna work no way. You ain't even got no career. You know, a lot of them probably can't be honest. They can't be respectful. Can't be not permissive. They, they can't create drama, especially the girl in the red. She, you know, she drama. Especially the girl in the, in, in the blue dress. You know, she drama. You can't create any drama. And a lot of women, it's, that's hard for a lot of people. Like it's hard for a lot of ugly dudes to start getting attention not to cheat on their girl because you know when they're ugly when nobody fucking with them and they still ugly but they got they got a little something and all the women want them and stuff so you know they probably gonna be doing a whole lot of cheating so i'm saying one of them type situations you believe in god oh certainly yes ma'am i'm a god-fearing man i practice monotheism you know i won't tell you what i identify is religion wise but we can get to that at a later date and time you we know can. if you choose to uh leave here with me okay do you know the bible says that love is kind yes certainly are you here for love or are you here to just insult i'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a family you know okay. that's what i aspire to do okay yes ma'am all right you're good sure we're good oh okay all right any questions for her no not at all oh do you have any kids no i don't do you want kids i do you How gonna give you me again? some huh how old are you i'm 29 how old are you 23 okay is that okay? Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Okay. You know, okay. we might as well get up out of here right now. All right, well, let me let, let's yeah. step on over here. Let's step on. Step that way real quick for me. Step that okay. way. See, <laughs> homegirl, in the, homegirl in the blue dress saw. He said she looking like still still up there looking for a man. Why? Because you can't, you don't know how to play a position. You don't know how to play a role. Like, you want to play a role, but you want to be in control, but you still want to play a role. You want him to be in control, but you want him to play a role. He can't do this. He can't, like, ain't nobody putting up with that, man. I don't care how good you looking. Ain't nobody with no mind putting up with, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do, like, who, no. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody into the regular-ass relationships. You know, motherfuckers be on some regular-ass shit with relationships. Go to work, come home, chill. Pay your bills. Let's go out. Let's come back home. Like, who want to do that for the rest of their life? That shit boring as fuck. But, um, no, man. Um, I think it's funny. I think it's funny, man. And he broke it down with that $100,000 comment. I'm trying to tell you because she don't look like she got $100,000. I'm just saying. She don't look it. She don't look it. Like I said, um. That's just what I see with my eyes. That don't look like a bride that is a hundred thousand dollar, hundred thousand dollar bride. That don't look like it to me. Um, but anyway, let's see what this is going at. I think it's the end, maybe. Huh? <laughs> All right. So it seems like there's a little vibe here. So is it gonna be a yes for you for him? God says save souls. So yeah. Oh, and is it a yes for you it's for her? It's gonna be a hell yes for okay, me. Okay, we yeah, got a match. <laughs> all right, let me take this mic and y'all can go on up. Sometimes all it take is a balance, man. Now I ain't saying dude don't look like he he could be an abusive and a um, 
it do don't look like he can be in an abusive and a motherfucking possessive and controlling. I ain't saying all that, but, you know, I ain't here to be discussing all that, and, you know, unless we had more to go off of. But all we had to go off of, him keeping it real, getting to the point, ain't wanting no woman for their money, ain't trying to use the woman. You know what I'm saying? See, most of you need to be trying to use the woman out here. He ain't trying to use the woman. He's trying to, you know, find somebody for him. Like, I don't need you to come in here and do nothing. I can do everything. I just need you to do this, this, and that's it. You know what I mean? Be loyal, be honest, have a career. You know, I don't need no bum. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. I mean, I like these little videos, man. I like, I, I like these little videos. But anyway, we're going to see. What we're going to do is we're going to post this. because it's, it's about to go up probably next hour or so. And we're going to see what it do, man. We're going to see the, if the numbers jump, if, it, if it's better. Then we may mess around and rock, rock with these little... Um, we may rock with these type videos, man, to where the dude is um it's either the dude and ten girls or girl and ten dudes and you know I, I've been seeing some of these videos on the internet as far as the rapper versions and I'm not gonna do the rapper versions. I mean I possibly could do the rapper versions, but I may do the rapper versions. It depends on how this stuff hit. You know what I'm saying? If it's hitting all right, we gonna, we may do this. We may sporadically do the gold digger joints. If not, then we might just go back to the gold digger joints. But let me know what you think about this. Let me know y'all want me to do more of these videos. I actually I actually enjoyed actually doing this video. You know what I'm saying? More so than them damn gold digs, because you know them niggas be irritating and shit. But um like, comment, share, subscribe, man. We need to get as many likes on this video as possible to push it in the algorithm. With that said, man, we up out of here.